Sa video natin ito, malalaman natin kung paano mag-subtract ng fractions. Tulad ng simple fractions and mixed numbers. Mga tutuklasan natin dito, how to subtract similar fractions. Subtracting similar fractions with regrouping. Subtracting the similar fractions. And subtracting the similar fractions with regrouping. Let's subtract similar fractions. 5 over 7 minus 2 over 7 equals just subtract 5 minus 2 equals 3 then copy the common denominator 7 the answer is 3 over 7 another example 4 and 7 over 8 minus 2 eighths equals just subtract 7 minus 2 equals 5. Copy the common denominator 8 and affix 4. The answer is 4 and 5 over 8. For subtracting similar fractions with regrouping, Ito ang halimbawa. 4 and 1 tenth minus 1 and 7 tenths. Kung mapapansin nyo, hindi pwedeng isubtract ang 7 tenths sa 1 tenth. Kasi mas malaki ang numerator na 7 kesa sa numerator na 1. So ang gawin natin, i-rename natin ang 4 and 1 tenths. Mawasan ng isa ang 4, magiging 3. Then binawas natin isa, i-rename natin na 10 over 10. Bakit 10 over 10? Kasi ang ginagamit nating denominator is 10. Then idagdag natin yung 1 over 10. Pagsamahin natin, 3 and 11 over 10. Ilipat natin ang 1 and 7 tenths. So, pwede na nating isubtract ang 11 over 10 minus 7 over 10. That is 4 over 10. 3 minus 1 equals 2. Then, simplify. Let us divide in GCF 2. 4 divided by 2 equals 2 and 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Then affix full number 2. The answer is 2 and 2 fifths. For subtracting the similar fractions, example, 3 fourths minus 2 thirds. So, sa pagkakatong ito, gamitin natin ang cross product method. So, para makuha ang LCD ng 4 and 3, i-multiply natin ang 4 times 3. And that is 12. So, to get the numerator, 3 times 3 equals 9. Then, 4 times 2 equals 8. Then, subtract 9 minus 8 equals 1 over 12. Now, let's subtract the similar fractions with regrouping. Ito ang example. 5 and 1 third minus 1 and 3 fourths. Ilagay muna natin ng whole numbers and operation sign. Then, find the LCD of 3 and 4, and that is 12. So, get the numerators. 12 divided by 3, the answer is 4, times 1, the answer is 4. 
12 divided by 4, the answer is 3. 3 times 3, that is 9. Kung mapapansin nyo, hindi natin pwedeng isubtract ang 4 twelves minus 9 twelves. Kasi mas malaki ang 9 kesa sa 4. So, ang gawin natin, let us regroup or rename. Yung 5, bawasan natin ang isa, magiging 4. Then, yung binawas natin isa, i-rename natin, magiging 12 over 12. Idagdag natin ang 4 over 12. Pag pinagsama natin, that is 4 and 16 over 12. Pwede na natin ibawas ang 1 and 9 over 12. Sixteen minus nine, that is seven. Copy denominator twelve, and four minus one equals three. So the answer is three and seven over twelve. Let's perform the indicated operations. Number 1, 2 and 1 fourth plus 3 and 1 half minus 2 and 1 third. Una, ibaba muna natin lahat ng whole numbers and operation signs. Then, kunin ang LCD ng 4, 2, and 3. And that is 12. So, kunin naman ang numerators. 12 divided by 4, the answer is 3, times 1, that is 3. 12 divided by 2, and that is 6, times 1, 6. 12 divided by 3, the answer is 4, times 1, the answer is 4. Then, let us add 2 and 3 twelves plus 3 and 6 twelves. The answer is 5 and 9 over 12. Then, subtract. So, 9 minus 4. The answer is 5. Copy denominator 12. And 5 minus 2 equals 3. So, the answer is 3 and 5 over 12. For number 2, 3 and 2 pips minus 3 ports plus 5 and 1 half. First, kunin natin ang LCD ng 5, 4, and 2. Pero bago yan, Lagay muna natin lahat ng whole numbers at operation signs. So, the LCD of 5, 4, and 2 is 20. Ngayon, kunin ang numerators. 20 divided by 5. The answer is 4 times 2, 8. 20 divided by 4. The answer is 5. Times 3, 15. 20 divided by 2, the answer is 10. Times 1, 10. Then, let us perform the first operation, and that is subtraction. But, you will notice, you cannot subtract 15 over 20 from 8 over 20. Kasi mas malaki ang 15 over 20 kesa sa 8 over 20. So, ang gagawin natin, i-regroup natin or rename. Let us rename 3 and 8 over 20. 
Bawasan natin ang 3 ng isa, then magiging 2. Then yung binawas natin na 1, i-rename natin na 20 over 20. 2 and 20 over 20, that is 3. Then, idagdag natin yung 8 over 20. Then, pagsamahin muna natin. 20 over 20 plus 8 over 20, that is 28 over 20. Then, affix whole number 2. Then, subtract. 15 over 20. Let's subtract. 28 minus 15. The answer is 13. Then copy the denominator 20. Then affix, 20, affix 2. Then let's add. 2 and 13 over 20 plus 5 and 10 over 20. 13 plus 10, that is 23. Then copy denominator 20. 2 plus 5 equals 7. Then simplify 23 over 20. Okay? Ilagay mo na ang 7. Then, how many 20 in 23? Isa. And 3 is the remainder. Then, copy denominator 20. So, 7 plus 1. That is 8. Then, affix 3 over 20.